All right, read this problem, try it out, and press play. We'll solve it together. Okay, so what's going on here? It says that if a times e to the power of b t equals c, where a, b, and c are positive, then t equals which of the following? Lots of choices, but I would just say here we're just looking at uh, exponents and logarithms, so let's see what we can do. I noticed that, first of all, we're trying to solve for t. So we use a logarithm, and that's why you see logarithms appearing in all these choices here. I also notice that we're using the natural logarithm. That's because the log base e of x is the natural log of ln of x. These are the same things, right? So if you write ln of x, it's called a natural log, and it's implying a base of e. Why is that useful here? Well, let's isolate e to the bt first. Get a all by itself. It's going to help us. And then once we do that, we just have, well, let's cross these things out here, right? Boom. And what we have left is e to the bt equals c over a. And then we take the natural log of both sides. You can take a natural log of this factor here and this one here. And the natural log of e to the bt equals bt times the natural log of e. I just brought this exponent down in front, log of logarithms. And that equals the natural log of c over a, which I'm going to leave for now. Then we want to get t by itself. So first of all, the natural log of e is just 1. e to what power is itself? 1. And then if we divide both sides by b, we should have our answer. Let's see what we have. Natural log of c over a, and then divided by b. Hmm, okay. So that just means that I think we have this choice here. It's in choice three, right? We have natural log of c over a and then that divided by just b. All right, hope that helped.